So today we'll be getting three PSP games. You will need custom firmware for this. Um, at least 3.70, 3.75 M33 and up. So sorry. So you can go to the website that I have on the description. But I saved our food. You saved our lives. Okay, so. I saved our food. It's so not gonna look like this, but you're gonna go here to downloads. Okay, and you are going to pick a game. <coughs> uh, let's just say pilot. Yeah, um, I don't know if I spelled that right, but. Okay. Oh, I didn't spell it right. Okay, so let's try. Um, Assassin. Ratchet and coin. Okay, that's wrong. Okay, let me just uh, try siphon filter. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we have a few station filters. Go down, down, down. Okay, you're gonna pick whichever one and you're gonna click that one, siphon filter. If it's ripped, don't worry, whatever. Okay, so you click it. And we're gonna go to mega upload. You're just going to type ADM, whatever it is. Download file. I'm not a premium downloader, but okay. When that's done, you're gonna exit out. Okay, and there's going to be downloading right here. Siphon filter it should say CSO. If it doesn't say that, it should say WinRAR thing. It should pop up on WinRAR. Okay, so we're just gonna wait that. Okay, so it should be there on your desktop. If it's not like this, if it's like books stacked on top of each other, just extract. It should say right, like extract here. So what you're gonna do is you're going to add to our try. You're gonna press OK. And okay, so um, the C this the CSO right? Um, once you've added it to our drive, just delete this. Yes. Okay. And there should be if if you don't find it on your desktop, go here and search the what it's called, the game. Oh, siphon filter loading. Drag that into your desktop. Okay. What you're gonna do now is extract here. I mean, sorry. I'm really sorry. Extract files. And you're gonna go with remove the disk. You're gonna write ISO, and it's gonna load that. So we'll be right back when that's done. Okay, so that's done, and everything is done. It's um, loaded. So now you're just gonna go to your. Okay, so you're gonna go to your iPod ISO, and it should be there CSO file. So what you're gonna do next is delete this you have to okay so okay so yeah okay and we are going to take out the memory stick okay yeah. put the memory stick back in <coughs> Okay, turn on PSP, and there we have our game, Logan Shadow, um, just to, if you guys just cust got custom firmware for your PSP, <coughs> what you're going to do is, <coughs> so I'm just going to,
Okay, so <clears throat> if you want to start the game, you're gonna start right. Okay, PSP. Okay, see the game could not be started. So, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up and put any game in. Doesn't matter what game you put in. <coughs> okay, then you play the game and it works. Okay. So r right now I'm gonna if your PSP is slow, um you're gonna do this, okay? So I'm just gonna so you're gonna um go to your if your game is slow, you're gonna go to your um Okay. You're just gonna go to your uh wherever your PSP charger is and you are going to flip it over. Hi. <sighs> okay, so you're gonna take out the battery. Okay, you're gonna plug your charger in. See that? Turn it off. Okay. Okay, it's gonna turn on, right? Now, this is my book for class. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna hold this uh, power button for five seconds. Okay, blinked. Turned off. Okay, now you're gonna hold the right button thing and you're gonna turn it off. So, and power button. Keep holding it. Okay, this screen should come up. Now it's going to say. Sorry about that. But. Okay, if you go to CPU speed, press X, and you go to speed, and UMD, whatever, you can see at the bottom your speed goes up. Just put, go up, up, okay, 333 three, three is the best. This will drain your battery a bit more, but not so much. So you go back, and... Exit. Then what you do, your custom form my battery. You are going to put it back in. One sec, please. Okay, just... and it's done. Play your game and enjoy.